Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about my August favorites. Now I have a lot of stuff to talk about, a lot of really good pre-fall products. September is already here, so summer is slowly making its way out the door and fall is coming in. I'm actually so excited for fall because fall is my favorite time for makeup. Don't you guys agree? Like fall just has like the best types of colors. But before I begin, I just wanna make a really quick and small announcement. So if you weren't aware, I actually posted a video on Saturday. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link it in the description box down below. But I have started to do weekly vlogs, I guess you could call it. So I've been vlogging every single day and now I'm going to start uploading it once a week on Saturdays. Like I explained the vlog, I really want you guys to get to know me better. And I think the best way to do that is for you guys to basically follow me around on a daily basis. So I want to make you guys aware that mostly every Saturday I'm going to be posting a weekly vlog. And so that means you could expect three videos from me a week on Monday, on Thursday, and on Saturday. So more Jamie for you. <laughs> so with that out of the way, let's just get into my August favorites. Okay. The first product that just completely reminds me of fall that I have been wearing almost every single day is the Becca Ombre Rouge Palette. This is basically fall in a palette. This has the most gorgeous colors ever. Just because these colors are so gorgeous and so wearable, and I was actually really surprised with how wearable this palette actually was. When I saw it online, I thought that these colors would be a lot more intense and a lot more red, so not so wearable for like the everyday woman, but these are just so beautiful, and these types of like rusty brown colors really bring out every single eye color, especially if you have light eyes like blue eyes or green eyes. Oh my God, this looks absolutely stunning. And of course, if you have brown eyes like I do, this palette is still stunning and will totally bring out your eye color. And it's a very versatile palette. You could get a lot of looks out of this. All right, moving on to another eyeshadow palette. This is the Anastasia Shadow Couture Palette. I got this quite a while ago, probably around like the beginning of summertime, and I've only really started getting into it right now because I feel like these colors are very fall approved. Appropriate. I just think this palette is so great because it's so versatile. There are so many amazing colors in here. There's some unique colors, some very wearable colors. So over here you have more of like the wearable colors, like these browns are stunning. And then you have more of like the fun colors, like this purple, blue, this gorgeous metallic shade. You have a staple black and then some gorgeous like highlight shades over here. There are just so many options with this palette. You could go bold, you could go more subtle, and it's all right here. My favorite color in this palette currently is Chic which is this color right over here. Normally I'm not really into silvers, but there's something about this shade that is just so gorgeous. It's not a very harsh silver, which makes it really wearable. It's more of like a warmer silver and not so cool toned. So the next product I wanna talk about is something that I don't think I've ever spoken about on my channel, but this is from the brand Sweet Pea and Fay. Now Sweet Pea and Fay is like more of like an indie brand. They make really, really awesome products and really gorgeous pigments. And this one in particular is in the shade Bavarian Cream and it is just the most stunning highlight color. And I've been using this to pack on the inner corners of my eye and it just makes them glow. And I really think that this brand needs more recognition. Their pigments are just so gorgeous and a lot of them are very, very unique. But this one in particular, is probably just one of my favorites. And just to put this all over the lid, like for like an everyday look, just to give your lids like a glowy sheen, this is like the perfect product for that. So this is what it looks like on my skin. You could see just that glow that it has. It's just gorgeous. All right, I have a lot of like products that I wanna talk about. The first one that I wanna talk about is actually the one that I'm wearing on my lips right now. This is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the color uh, Bumble. I'm cheating a little bit. I got this just last week, but I really, really had to mention it because this lip color is the perfect fall lip. Like this just screams fall to me and I'm obsessed with it. I really like the formula of these Ultra Matte um, lipsticks, they dry in like three seconds as soon as you put them on your lips and they do last a really nice amount of time. This color is just so beautiful because it's that really like rusty reddish color but it's not too dark that it makes it a little bit harder to wear. Like you could definitely rock this during the day, no problem. Another liquid lipstick that I wanna talk about are the Ofra liquid lipsticks. It's more like the Ofra liquid lipsticks in general. They have become my favorite liquid lipsticks I've ever tried. But this color in particular has been my favorite this month. This is called Pasadena. It's actually pretty similar to Bumble, but it's a little bit darker and not as red. It has a little bit more of like a pink undertone, whereas Bumble has a little bit more of like a reddish brown undertone. The Ofra liquid lipsticks are just so comfortable to wear. They're very moussey and lightweight, and they don't feel like disgusting on your lips. I do now have the whole entire collection of the Ofra liquid lipsticks, so I am going to be doing a swatch video of all of the liquid lipsticks. RIP my lips because it's going to be a disaster for my lips, but I really, really wanna show you guys every single color because they're all stunning. And 
really exciting. Ofra actually gave me a 30% off discount code for you guys. It is not an affiliate code whatsoever. It's just to give you guys some money off on these liquid lipsticks. And the code is Jamie30. So that's amazing. 30% off is a really, really big discount. So thank you so much to Ofra for giving this to my subscribers because it's amazing. But wait for that lip swatch video that I'm going to be doing because you're going to be able to see all the colors on the actual lips. So stay tuned. Oh, I forgot to swatch this. Oopsies. So this is what Pasadena looks like. It's just like that typical like dark nude color that everybody has been wearing lately. It's really, really pretty. All right, so next I want to talk about this fantabulous lip gloss from Marc Jacobs. These lip glosses are my all-time favorite lip glosses that I've ever tried. I've mentioned these, I believe, in one of my other favorites videos. I'm not sure which one, but I have raved about these before and I am still raving about them and I'm raving about them hard. These are my all-time favorite lip glosses and I could say that with like 100% confidence. I have just been really into like lip glosses that are not extremely opaque. I know the trend right now is to have lip glosses that are just so opaque that you could basically use them as lipsticks, but I just really love those lip glosses that are opaque enough that you could wear them by themselves, but also not so opaque that you could wear them on top of a lipstick and they don't completely like override the lipstick. Am I making sense? And these Marc Jacobs lip glosses are just that. This is my all-time favorite nude lip gloss in the color Sugar Sugar. It is just the most perfect nude. It has a little bit of like really, really, really fine gold shimmer in it, but it's so fine that you can barely even see it. But because it's so glossy and has those like tiny gold reflex in it, it just makes your lips look absolutely amazing. And this color is just so perfect. Like I said, this is called Sugar Sugar and it is the most perfect nude lip gloss. I could wear it every single day, no problem. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Moving on to another lip product. This is the Hourglass Femme Nude Nude Number no. 4 Lip Pencil. Now, I have sort of been on a hunt for products that are not overly hyped up. Like, I feel like a lot of times you will hear a lot of beauty gurus talk about like the same products, which is fine because obviously they're good if everybody's talking about them. But I also want to try and find products for you guys that not a lot of people are talking about so that you could discover new and amazing products. So when I saw these Hourglass lip pencils, I hadn't really heard a lot of people talk about these. I've had heard a few people talk about them, but they're really wasn't much like talk. So I really want to try these out for myself and let you guys know what I thought. And I love this so much. I really wanted a lip color that would just look good like for like a normal day, like something that I could throw on super easy. So when I saw these, I instantly was really intrigued because I love like the pencil format of this lipstick. I just think it's super easy just to pop on when you're on the go. And this color is just so perfect. It's like a pink based nude. So it's really, really flattering, but it is more on like the nude side and it's not like overly pink either. It's just like the perfect nude. And I also love the formula of these. I find that they're very, very creamy. Like they're so creamy that they don't even feel like a lipstick, they almost feel like a bomb. They're not the most long wearing lip like products that I've ever tried because they're not like a long wearing like matte lipstick. But like I said, for every day, this is like just such a great product. All right, speaking of products that not a lot of people talk about, I hear literally nobody talk about the Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Intense Lipsticks. I was very intrigued. I hadn't really ever tried Makeup um, Forever lipsticks. And when I saw this color, it like spoke to my soul a little bit. You guys know I've been really into like those dusty roses and those like mauve pink colors. And this is like that, That this is that over here. This is in the color number 31. It is a satin finish. These Makeup Forever lipsticks are gorgeous. They are so good. They are so intensely pigmented. I wanna show you swatched on my hand. Like they're so pigmented and creamy and comfortable to wear. And this color guys, like if you are really into these types of colors, like I am, you need this in your life because it is beautiful. They are so comfortable. They wear really, really nice. And they're just like a really good lipstick. So I would definitely recommend checking these out. I think they're wonderful and not enough people talk about them. I really want to try out more colors from this line because this is the only one that I have and I want to try like more of a nude, more of like a reddish color just to get like a feel for the whole line. All right, moving on to some brow products. Now these are new Urban Decay brow products. This pencil is called the Brow Beater. It is a micro fine brow pencil and brush. It reminds me a lot of the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It's a waxy pencil and when you apply it to your brows, it looks really nice and natural because you're really able to create like hair like strokes with it because it is so small. What I like most about this though is the color. I got, I have the color neutral brown and it is just the most perfect color for 
my brows and for my hair color. Because I've recently gone very blonde, I really don't like it when my brows are overly dark. So this color right over here is just perfect. It is still like a brown color because obviously my brows are brown, but it is not too brown or too dark that it sort of looks a little bit crazy with my hair. Like it is just the perfect ashy brown color. Going with the eyebrow pencil, this is the eyebrow gel from Urban Decay. This is the brow tamer and this is a tinted version in natural, sorry, neutral brown as well. This is a really, really, really nice eyebrow gel. I find it holds my brows really nicely, adds a really nice tint to them as well. When I want them to be a little bit more bold, I will use this one, but I do also have the clear one, which I do really like as well. Not much I'll say about them other than I definitely would recommend checking them out. Moving on to a concealer. This has been a really, really great concealer this month. This is the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Camouflage Corrector. This is in the color Ivory Number no. 10, a really good highlighting shade for my skin tone. This reminds me a lot of the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. It's very, very creamy, does not crease, does not cake up, and it just applies really beautifully and looks really nice underneath the eyes. And because it is from the drugstore, it is affordable, and if you're looking for a new concealer from the drugstore, definitely check this one out. Moving on to a mascara. This is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. This is a mascara that I've been wearing basically every single day. This mascara makes my lashes look like amazing. Amazing. My lashes look long. They look separated. They look voluminous. I just love the wand. Um, the wand is really, really small and it's very spiky. So it really gets between all of the little lashes that you have on your eye, I guess. What? And it separates them and it coats them all evenly. And I love this brush also for my lower lashes because it gets every single little lash because it is so small. I have two powders that I want to talk about. The first one is Mary Luminizer. I feel like I'm very late to the party, but I finally jumped on board and I ended up picking up Mary Luminizer on Amazon. I found it very difficult to find the bomb products. Um, you're able to get it on the website very easily, but it's very expensive to ship to Canada. But I found it on Amazon and the shipping was like amazing. It was only like $3 and it was very inexpensive to actually send here. So if you're from Canada and you're finding it a little bit difficult to find these products, check Amazon because I found it there and it was like amazing. I got it the next day. I expect it to be a lot more like sparkly than it actually is. It is actually a very creamy and just beautifully glowy highlighter. It is not chunky, it is not sparkly, it doesn't make you look like a disco ball, it just makes you look angelic, which is what I want my highlighter to make me look like. What's really great about this is that you're really able to build it up if you want something really intense, but you're also able to sort of make it really nice and wearable for every single day. Like if you just use a very light hand and you blend it out properly, you could get just the most beautiful glow. I think the color is perfect as well. It's not too gold, but it's also not too pale. It's that perfect like in-between vanilla shade that just is so flattering on pale skin. All right, so I have to talk about this blush again. I feel like I rave about this way too often, but this is literally the blush that I wear every single day. It's what I'm wearing now. It is the Too Faced Love Flush Blush in Baby Love. It is just the best. It's the perfect nude, dusty rose type of blush. It goes with everything, doesn't clash with anything, and it is just so good. It's pigmented, creamy, easy to blend, easy to wear, all the things that you want a blush to be. All right, moving on to some face base products. I have a Sephora Illuminizer Foundation Primer here. Um, Again, I feel like Sephora brand products do not get spoken about enough because I feel like people just get a little bit scared off because it's like the Sephora brand, you know what I mean? But they really have really awesome products in their line and I really think a lot of them are worth checking out. This is the Illuminizing Primer. If you want it to look glowy, you could definitely use like the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors, like the liquid versions, but that gives you such an intense glow that it's it could be a little bit too much sometimes, whereas this just has such a beautiful luminosity to it. It is not over the top or it doesn't make you look oily or greasy. It just gives you such a beautiful glow. I don't know if the camera's gonna be able to pick it up, but it has like a luminescence to it, which is really interesting. It's something that I've never really seen in a primer. Um, except for this one and it's just so pretty to use like underneath your foundation. I have a favorite foundation. This is the Dior Air Flash Spray Foundation. I've been hearing people just like raving about this forever now and I finally decided to actually try it out. Um, I'm really happy that I did because I am obsessed with this. This is such a great foundation. It's very different than your normal foundation because it is in like a spray bottle so you could be like, what? What are you, what are you supposed to do with this? Are you supposed to spray this on your face? They say that you could spray it on your face, but really I would not do that. What I like to do is I spray it on the back of my hand, I take a brush or a beauty blender and I just use that to apply it onto my face. And it makes my skin look so airbrushed and so beautiful 
and the coverage is so amazing, but yet it looks and feels so lightweight. So my skin is so dry and it really doesn't accentuate the dry patches on it. It just makes it look so good. I'm in the color 200. If you've been on the fence about it like I have been, I would just take the plunge and try it out or at least try a sample of it because you may be pleasantly surprised. This is probably like gonna be another holy grail product. I just, I really, really love it. I have two more products that I wanna mention. The first of those two is this Sephora Pro Airbrush Concealer Brush in number 57. This brush has been in my collection for a really long time, but I've only really recently started to use this. This is the best brush to blend out concealer. It's small enough that you're really able to fit it underneath your eyes, but it's also large enough that it doesn't take you like 15 years to blend out your concealer. It just does it really, really quickly. And this just makes your concealer look airbrushed. I use it basically every single day. It's just, it's so good. All right, T, last but not least, I have a hair product. If you guys couldn't tell, I've recently got a lot shorter with my hair. So when I was getting it cut, the hairstylist actually used this product on my hair and I loved it so much that I ended up buying it. It's called the Care de Sass Spray A Porte or Spray A Porter, I'm not sure which one of those it is, but it is a flexible hold tousled effect spray. So it's basically like a texturizing hairspray. So what I do is after I curl my hair, I will spray a few sprays in this in my hair and I'll like scrunch it up and it will give my hair a really beautiful like tousled effect, but it will also hold it. Because a lot of times I will use like a texturizing product and it will look great, but an hour later it will completely fall and it won't look so great anymore. But this really does hold my hair and it really holds it well enough that it lasts pretty much throughout the day. I mean, sometimes I do have to like reapply it, but it's really, really good. And it's definitely one of the better tousled like texturizing sprays that I've tried. You just gotta be careful with this because if you spray too much, your hair will be very crunchy and it could look a little bit wet. So you wanna do like two sprays each side max. I would say three if you wanna push it a little bit, but it's a really, really great product. If you have short hair like I do and you like that tousled bedhead look, you will love this. So guys, now that I'm completely out of breath and I feel like I can't speak for the rest of the day, we are done for my August favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do not forget to let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And always let me know in the comments down below what your favorite product was in the month of August because I love hearing your suggestions. You guys are awesome. And that's pretty much it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, love you.